help yourself. Hey. Hey. Where to? Heads up. What you got for me? Wow. That doesn't look half. Watch my back. Heads up. Take a look.
潮落。Since I picked a fight, the streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. I heard you walk that freedom trail. Galaxy! News! Radio! When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. The What's with the fancy is duds? The Silver Shroud! Expensive. Today's expensive. Might be a founding name. Your crimes have on, gone Dolphins. unpunished for too Great long. Truly. What the hell's wrong with you? Well... Nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. Oh, oh. <coughs> I ain't never been in a secret case to hide out before. What the? Oh, you dumb jello. What's the matter? I had a day with my hideout. It's my hideout. Nah, relax. Oh, she's all right. Ain't you all right? Dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the shroud off Wayne. Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. 
H.A.'s selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let A.J. kill kids. Let's talk about Baldi. Hey, what? Was that you, Whatever. Galaxy News! Peace, brother. Radio. You step through the gate. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging Keep the guilty. That guardian is hey, the Silver Look Shroud. at the clown. Today's episode, this is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. <sighs> That's all of them. Fat fees, mob bots, and peddling poison to, to kids, level, are we? Today. You face yes, the Silver husband. Shroud! And, uh, uh, robotic health <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Not Christ's sake. Figures. Did Kent for put you up to this? He keeps facts. moaning about the poor Someone little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, right. let's say, 50 who? caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. Boston's all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Board up the windows because we're putting you out of business. Screw you. Waste the freak. I don't. You don't know anything. Special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack hey, and killed you. four innocent drifters. Looking for work? If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. Depends on the work. The You'll never find a more fair and honest job. If you don't mind a little manual labor and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm in. That's what I like to hear. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mechanist Unmasked. Dangling over a pit of fire reminds me of our adventure against the Chelsea Mingler, a mistress. Indeed, stalwart Shroud. But that malformed murderer was but a muppet compared to the malignancy of the mechanist. Malignant, am I? No, mistress of mystery. What you mistake for evil is actually enlightenment. Only I, the mechanist, truly understand the folly of humankind. The flesh is weak. Metal is the future of Massachusetts. The only future you have is a long nap in a deep hole, mechanist. To me, you're just another two-bit hustler with delusions of grandeur. And by the way, you're not fooling anyone with that cheap getup. Yeah. You're as human as the rest of us. Stalwart Shroud, glance skyward and see. Our newfound friend, the head of the bodiless bot. And it would seem he's biting through our findings. Hey, down there, mechanist, you robot wannabe. Remember me? Oh, gee. No, I, one I didn't think so. Time, so. That's the problem. You made me, but you didn't love me. You didn't love any of us, you selfish jump out. Now, it's time to pay. Gasp! You need something to take the edge off? Fools, all of you! Attack my robot children! Destroy these interlopers! The robots are advancing, and our weapons have been confiscated. So, fist to cuffs it is then. And furiously fluid footwork! Hiya! 
by order of our master, the mechanist, you will be destroyed. Destroy and... And that <laughs> is the last of them. Now, for the mechanist. But where did that vile ruffian escape to? A silver do-gooder, it's me, the head. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm up here in the rafters. I'm your eye in the sky. Oh, good neighbor. You handle I your saw where the mechanist went. He's in that dead. office. Up the stairs. Well done, heroic head. Your adjusted attitude has made allies of us all. Silver Shroud, shall we? We shall. Stop right there! Not a step closer! You may have defeated my robot children, but now I will turn your own weapon against you! He's out by the Cambridge room Silver Shroud! Today. He's I'm armed with your silver me. shooter! Your most Somebody revered pit rifle! Pit That's freedom. So he is, mistress. So he is. All right, mechanist. It's your move. Shoot! If you've got the hootspah. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, Silver Shroud. With you and your harlot out of the way, the age of the robots can truly begin. Now. Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, 
One man lurks in the shadows, huh? shielding the innocent. Charlie. Make way for paying customers. The slaying is a from the post. Today's episode of the slaying in Scully Square. You look upon the silver shroud. Just I seek a miscreant out. named well, Kendra. Well, well. Shroud? Looks like someone well, got like lost nothing. on the wrong Kendra side of the is not one to be trifled with. <laughs> People associated with her have a habit of being found face down too. in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, no, for a fee it can be Perhaps arranged. Call him. Now if can you spare a few details on her at least? Not so fast. On the house. Fancy. You got to have finesse to be you an won't. assassin. And that's Kendra's a murderer. Very skilled murderer. Now. Listen, mate, the combat I scan shows you know what you're about. You have any Save idea your caps by a logger instead. No, jeez Louise. Why'd you go and do that? Because he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? Now. Fancy Here's your money. Where is she? Still going through, is this? Nothing. She's got a flat hey, outside the neighborhood. Yeah, for the blighters ah. she's got with her. Nasty piece of like business, then. Good luck. All right, all right. 20 bucks, a driver's license. Oh, man. We done it this time. You know who this is? We just wasted Mayor Murphy! What? The Mayor Murphy? What in the places was he doing up here? Up in Scully Square! Another special Ever update. Kill or be no, killed? it wasn't Some Bobby No Nos who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming a good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy News Radio. When he Slowly now, reveal yourself. Fucking kidding me. Silver Shroud, fret not, old friend. It's only me. Mistress of mystery, what brings you to Scully Square on such a foul night? Tracking our dear Mayor Murphy, who is up to some mischief. The Mayor? So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity. Hardly. Here, let me show you. The contents of the late mayor's case. But these are real estate papers. Leases and deeds for most of the businesses in Scully Square. Indeed they are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem our Mayor Murphy was involved in a rather crooked caper. He was here to meet with the other mysterious malefactor. So, oh, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place. What? Silver Shroud! And Mistress of Mystery! And the Mayor! Hey, something's out there. Fight meeting the infamous man boss! So you were meeting with Mayor Murphy. Why? Tell me, and you may yet live. Just listen to my friend, Faye. I'll never talk. You two are in over your head. So be it. Death has come for you, evildoer. And I am it. Shroud. Shroud this crime fighter. Shroud, you're shot. Uh, 
moved. And you're bleeding. Badly. Must get back to my... What was that? Hush now, Stone Shroud. I'll take you to my parlor. <laughs> it is close. him to that fateful meeting with Fat Fahey. I was about to... Attention! Silver Shroud and Mistress of Mystery! This is Chief Corcoran of the Boston Police Department! Killer. Wait, it's clearing. You have no idea. Chief, he ain't here. I do so like it when the little bug I was crawls willingly into the say spider's that, Officer webs. Leibowitz. I was hoping you'd say that. What you you have taken your stone? last life, villain. You stole my life. Another the 
streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. Come on, dollface. It's right true here. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What the? Polly, you dumb jamoke. What's the big idea? Bringing a dame into our hideout. Into my hideout. Now nah, relax, boss. She's all right. Ain't you all right, Wendy? Cindy? Yeah. It's candy. And yeah, of course I'm all right. I'm just a young, dumb girl in love with a handsome, dangerous man. Ah, oh, brother. All right, the skirt can stay, but close that door. Last thing we need is... The Silver Shroud, infiltrating your nefarious lair. Holy cannoli! It's the Nightmare of Night, the Deceptive Detective, the Dark Dick! Polly, you idiot! You were duped! That's no normal dame! Quite right, you custodian of criminality. For I am not Candy, the captivating companion. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have clouded Polly's paltry perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. Sorry, boss! I had no idea! Your mistake is our gain, Polly, is it? Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud! Polly, no! Okay, okay, listen. Whatever you want, Silver Shroud, I'll do it. Just don't kill me, too! Pathetic and predictable when faced with fear, the cocksure culprit. <laughs> oh, you too. Crime fighters? What a laugh. And you call me predictable. You don't got any idea, do you? Why, the juviality fey. I, the Silver Shroud, have got you dead to rights. Yet you persist in this mindless guffawing. Not the behavior I expect of a criminal mastermind. And you're right. Criminal mastermind? Me? Bub, you're as dumb as that getup. I'm just a pawn in this game, pal. You see, my master, the real master, he's been pulling all the strings. You mean... That's right, mistress. This was all just a big distraction. While we were here having our little jaw session, my boss has been at your parlor, stealing back those deeds you took from Mayor Murphy's dream. Treacherous toad! You defy my sacred sanctum. For that, you will feel my Behold the blade of bastard!
been listening to Galaxy News Radio. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Sweet hip boy, brother. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man... Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Out of my business. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Guess what someone tells me? Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the life den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that. So far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Does it matter? Yeah, it really doesn't. But in a burg full of weird, you stand out. And that ain't easy, man. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you. I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone. What do you know about him? Leveled some farms, napalmed his own men and a couple enemies. But besides his dark deeds, nobody knows nothing. If he ain't dealt with now, in a couple of years, it may take an army to end him. Why are you telling me this? If I get involved, it gets complicated. But you, nobody knows who the hell you are. Just some lunatic taking out trash. And if you buy it, none of this comes back to me. He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? <laughs> 